Kelly because uh, her, uh, the homework uh, she gives us is very useful. Actually, I um, make an appointment with a different professor. Uh, I, I interviewed uh, two professors by now and uh, another three uh, this week. And if possible, I will interview Kelly. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really uh, useful. I, I chose uh, the, my first uh, uh, choice is uh, Ms. Chen, a financial accounting professor. I chose her because uh, I want to understand her, uh, understand about uh, her expectation for international uh, students and uh, the recent presentation. Um, although I think Ms. Chen have already wrote in her syllabus about you know, her requirements for the class and uh, the presentation, but I still have no idea you know, how she defines classroom participation and uh, what is her expectation for international students and uh, how to interject, interject into the discussion which dominated by native speakers and uh, how to contact her if I have questions in class. And uh, also, um, my last concern is, uh, um, of course, is the presentation you know, we, we will perform on the coming Monday today. Um, so my first concern is about classroom participation. Um, uh, before the interview, I think cl uh, classroom partici participation is to say something in class, that's okay. But uh, after interview, I noticed, uh, I know that Miss um, Chen's requirement is that um, you know we should uh, um, contribute to class. That's more important than you merely say something. And uh, for example, if a student say a lot in class, but there is nothing to do with the study, that is not good. That's just a waste of time. And uh, um, and she will not value it as a and as the effective class, classroom participation. And uh, what's more, classroom participation is only a small part of the overall performance of the students. So um, and she, she also have other requirements, including punctuality and uh, your um, class presentation and your teamwork. So this, these are an overall performance and your midterm and the final term exam will, you know, um, will affect your grade. So this, uh, she made it quite clear so I understand you know, what to do. And uh, my second um, concern is about um, her expectation for our international students and uh, um, how to interject into the discussion. And she said that the only uh, expectation she wants uh, is uh, the international perspective. Uh, she took our last class, for example, uh, when she taught about uh, um, the accounting entry, she asked me um, about uh, what we did in China. So this is a very good example for international perspective. And, uh, and her suggestion to interject into the, uh, the discussion which dominated by native speakers is to raise your hand highly. She um, emphasized on that. And uh, if uh, you still have no chance to say, uh, you need to find a right point to jump in. For example, uh, right after one person stop talking, you, know, you need to be quickly interject into the discussion. That's very important. You found that point. But th that doesn't mean you need to interrupt. Uh, so be careful. And, uh, and uh, I think, uh, based on my own experience, her advice is, is very useful. I, I also try to do that in class. So, and, and my uh, third concern is uh, how to contact with her if I have questions in class, like uh, um, if I miss some important terms, if I um, know Yeah, some important points I cannot catch. So uh, can I ask her in class? And she's, she preferred not to ask her in class. She, she wanted me to you know, talk to her during the break, uh, after class, or during her office hour. That, that's better. And uh, she wanted
want to make good use of the class time because that is limited. So, and I think, um, although an American stu and professor, they like students to ask questions, they like to interact with students, but we still need to think about, you know, to think carefully before we, we present our questions. And my last concern is um, how to prepare for the presentation. Um, she, she told us that we need to make a PPT for the presentation to let others know what we are talking about. And uh, also we need to limit our presentation to 15 minutes and uh, another five minutes for uh, other students to ask questions. And uh, mm, every member of the group should uh, involve in the presentation and uh, um, yeah, do the presentation together. Um, I think um, um, her and advice is uh, you know make make me very clear what we should do step by step. So um, and uh, uh, I think uh, um, the the um, I'm sorry and um, and thanks to this very um, I think this very useful interview with uh, Ms. Chen, I really know how to, I really understand what to do in her class and uh, how to prepare the presentation. Uh, I, I think I will um, uh, be more contributive to, to the class, try to speak more. And uh, um, if I want to say, I will raise my hand highly to let her know I have something to say. And also, um, I will, if I um, do not find a chance, I will try to jump in. And, uh, and uh, uh, I should, uh, for the presentation, uh, I, I should co contain her after class or talk her in the office hour. That's her pref uh, she prefer. And uh, for the presentation, I think we should, we should uh, make a PPT and the practice before the presentation, uh, the pra practice the presentation before the class and uh, uh, make sure everybody is involved and finish it in time. And uh, now, I, uh, after this interview, I really understand what her expectation for international students. And that she, um, I think I should c focus more on class presen um, pre presentation and the group involvement instead of worrying, worrying about my English skill. Yeah, that's what I want to share with you.